Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live here on YouTube. And uh, we just loaded another video there on our Patreon channel. Uh, this one here, though, we may end up making public. Uh, we have, I think, three exclusive ones that we've loaded in the last week. But uh, the one that we have up now, we'll probably end up making public. It's about Putin and how he is gaining a, um, a, a particular technology for the energy particle weapons. I think you'll find that very fascinating. Uh, anyway, there, I, I uh, have some friends there that have sent some very interesting. Uh, Ingo sent me this video here. President Trump hosts Israel's Heritage Foundation Gala at Bedminster, New Jersey. So as uh, I think that was a video, that was one of our exclusive ones that we have there on Patreon right now, is about Trump coming back into power, something you might want to take a look at. But uh, much like uh, Robert Kennedy Jr., who has embraced uh, the Jewish community, and that's normally done because that is where the best funds come from. Just has to be told the truth there. Listen in, though, what Trump has to say there here on this video here as he uh, hosts Israel's Heritage Foundation uh, in Bedminster, Bedminster, New Jersey. Thank you very much. Please read it. Okay. I, I, let me just say one thing, too, else on that. I find it very interesting the name of the place where this is at. Bedminster. So I guess he's in bed with the minister. <laughs> so we'll just leave it at that. I won't say any further. Hey, give thanks. Give thanks to Hashem for his work is good. His kindness endures forever. Presented to President Donald J. Trump for his extraordinary and heroic efforts. I like that very much. <laughs> to help the state of Israel and the Jewish people. He and his family should be blessed eternally from the Israel Heritage Foundation, July 10th, 2023. I want to thank you, Rabbi. That's right. July 10th, 2023. And, and it says in small print, and you must win and be the president again. You must win. You he must is going to win. 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 Listen, let, let me put it this way. If we win. don't win, Israel's in big trouble. No, I really you're going to win. I mean it. Israel's in big trouble. No, you're, you're going to win. Thank you very much. We'll, we'll, we'll do an encore, and that way you'll win. Right? Is this a test? You're the rabbis give me a test. This sucker is about 100 yeah. yeah. And no men in women's sports. Do we have <laughs> Very interesting, especially that last comment as well. Um... Russian Defense Ministry also says that the Wagner mercenaries are surrendering their weapons to the military. Uh, that's still some very interesting things going on uh, regarding the uh, Prigozhin uh, with the head of the Wagner group. Uh, basically, Putin was saying that they were all going to pay for their crimes against Russia. But everybody, not only are they going free, they're getting bonuses to come with it as well. Uh, it's really a little bit interesting to see how it's going to go. And like I said before... From the intel we were getting about a year and a half ago on this, uh, I think that truly Putin will go out and they will bring in a much more hardliner in to replace him. Also, Russia enters uh, China's top five trading partners, according to RT here, said that the uh, Russia Russia has become one of China's top five trading partners for the first time as the two countries continue to boast cooperation. An unprecedented pace, trade turnover between Moscow and Beijing surged to a record volumes in the period from January to June, reaching uh, 114.5 billion. Data released by, by the Chinese General Administration of Customs on Thursday showed. Uh, I, you know, listen, that's not unexpected whatsoever. Don't forget, uh, Russia, of course, is uh, part of that BRICS uh, uh, nations there. It is a new world order economic system that they're building. And now Israel negotiating behind the lines right now to be a part of the BRICS nations. Everyone dumping the dollar, going to this BRICS nation. They're talking about coming out with their own currency. So that's something that's going to be very of, of a great interest without a doubt there. Uh, two, I wanted to bring out uh, this whole thing about the auroras, uh, the northern lights and stuff. They're talking about uh, right now, I've been hearing different people have been saying, Elizabeth sent me some information on that there, that these lights are that are they're appearing uh, further and further uh, south. They're going to be appearing, uh, they're anticipating them, they're going to go further and further south. And I, I don't say this is the reason why, but 
if you recall the interview that I did with Harold Couts Villa, uh, and this was back uh, oh, a year ago, we were talking about the collapse of the magnetosphere. And Harold in here talks about how that when the magnetosphere collapses, the and he uses the scientific name for the Northern Lights, the auroras that we see there, but he talks about how beautiful they will, and they'll go all the way down to the equator. They'll be able to be seen all the way to the equator. But I want, to, I want you to listen into this because I want to remind you of what, what Harold actually said because there is a risk during that particular time. And again, I don't know if that is the time we're coming up on. I know there is a lot of fear right now of Planet X appearing about at any time. Uh, I do recall one of the intel uh, discussions I was in one time uh, that I was told that it could just appear out of nowhere. But when it does, it'll be too late. It'll already be upon us. That's one of the reasons why I believe that they're using CERN, uh, the, uh, the Hydrogen Collider, to open up a portal to bring Planet X into our dimension, knowing that it, whatever that time frame is, it'll be parallel to our dimension, or parallel to us at a certain time in another dimension. And therefore, using the CERN technology, they could open up that portal, basically opening up the abyss of revelation and allowing the enemy to come in. Let's listen to what Harold has to say here, though. Uh, in the days it's shifting, there's no magnetic fielding for the planet. So the Aurora Borealis will go down to the equator. And people will <laughs> possibly spend all night outside to enjoy the beautiful view. But without that shielding, there's a quite high probability for having very strong electromagnetic fields on ground level. And what, I mean, this is now not, we do not have data from scientific research. So he goes into that and he does talk about how the people have had visions, things like that, of what would happen or what is anticipated to be happen. I want to go a little bit more forward, though, in this discussion, if I get it in the right spot here, let's see. Wow. Because of high impact of electromagnetic fields just and they said the 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 symptoms will be flu-like at the beginning but then it's going to worsen and many will not do it so the recommendation is uh, try to get some form of, of faraday cage to sleep in stay inside the buildings don't enjoy the, the show outside and get down from sandy areas and try to find some soil that is conductive, like like everything that looks red soil-wise or stone-wise has iron in and it's shortcutting the fields on ground level, making it a bit more quiet electromagnetically. And, and this is not a big secret. I, I heard that uh, the Israeli government is running programs to basically buy a good share of Poland that has exactly the soil quality wow. um, and uh, displays a good share of its citizens to Poland for that time to, to come. This is what I, I hear that there are uh, huge movements in, in re buying real estate, uh, preparing uh, to, to supply and provide shelter for millions Could you of crane? people. Could Ukraine actually be a very optimal place and why we might be having this war in Ukraine is because the real maybe underlying reason is because of the land as well. I mean, naturally, Ukraine is connected I, to Poland. I, I know that it is the area close to Ukraine. I don't know if that ge uh, geologic uh, constellation is going further down south, possibly. A wild guess could be, but I see too many... Anyway, there, there, there you have it. Harold's talking about when we have a collapse in the magnetosphere, the aurora boris that would actually go all the way down to the equator. In other words, you'll be able to see these beautiful lights. He said it'll be very spectacular. People want to stay up all night to watch this event. He said, but it'll be a very dangerous time uh, because the magneto, uh, magneto uh, sphere being uh, the, or the magneto, magnetic resonance being so close to the ground. In one point there, he actually says it'll scramble the brains. So we just got to, we just want to use a bit of caution. And I don't know that this is what would happen at this time now, but keeping in mind, it is something that's real and it's something that could happen. 
at any given time. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Thank you.